today is a review of my favorite brushes, um, some of the brushes I have bought in, and um, what brush is my favorite that I like to use. And then I'll also be showing you how I clean my brush to keep it nice and moist and clean. So, um, let's start off with this one. This one I got from the cosmetology store. And this is a Oval 10. I have had this brush probably about a month before it ruined. And um, as you can see, this brush is completely ruined. And you can see like product kept getting stuck in here. No matter what I've tried to do um, to clean it, it would not come out. And I paid, I think, $37 for this brush, which is super expensive. And I don't think that it is Kalinsky. Um, so yeah, super expensive. I was not impressed. I do have another one, which is right here. And again, this I paid $37 for this brush. I did find that if, um, when you're cleaning them and you're done using them, wrapping them and, um, not not in foil but um the plastic wrap if you wrap them after you're done using them the brushes do stay nice and moist and ready to use again when you're ready to do a set of nails so um i just wanted to show you like how crusty this brush is it sucks i did find you know after being frustrated of trying to find a brush to use and what i was doing wrong and why they kept getting clumpy like this and um, I did find that the brushes with the caps keep the brush nice and moist. This is my favorite brush. I have had this brush since um, last October, and it is still perfect. The bristles are nice and soft. I have a piece of glitter on my hand. The bristles are still nice and soft. There's no product in there whatsoever. It's a good brush. So it stays nice and soft. I mean, I, this is a size 12. Works amazing. And again, I think the cap keeps the brush nice, the bristles nice and soft so that they don't ruin. Um, I've bought in this one. It's the Mia Secret Kalinsky. I believe it's a number 10 or 12. I can't remember. This is a 10. Again, it has a cap to keep the bristles nice and soft. But I don't know if you can see, this is a 10 and this is a 12. But look at the difference, how much longer that brush is. It's pretty crazy. So I have yet to try this one out. So I have that one and it has the cap. And then I have this one, haven't used it. I actually got this for a swap that I am doing. This is a 12. I got this one. Haven't used it yet. This is a 10, I believe. Yeah, this is a 10. I haven't used it yet. And then you put the thing on here for extension, the lid. So it's not so tiny because look how small that is. I mean, I guess you could prefer tiny, but this is supposed to be a Kalinsky brush as well. And I got these two, or no, not this one. This one and this one from the same place that I got this one. So, yeah, I have that one. And then, let's see. Okay, girls, if you are on a budget and you can't buy a super good brush... I got this from Michaels and I have used this before and it works awesome. I don't want to take the cap off of it, but um, if cleaned right, you know, you could um, wrap it in, in the plastic saran wrap and the brush, brush will stay nice and um, moist and won't ruin if cleaned right. But it has to be wrapped with the saran wrap in order for it to stay good. 
that's the way to keep your brushes nice and moist and from drying out and becoming icky like this one. So yeah, this is from Michaels and I think I paid like, and this is a number eight. I think I paid maybe 10 bucks, 12 bucks. I don't know. It's something cheap. I know that. But yeah, if you're looking for something on a budget, this works. You just got to wrap it. Um, this one is a Ultra Kalinsky Sable. Have not used. This one I bought from my beauty store for 13 bucks. Um, I think I have tried this one and the bristles seem really stiff and they're not very soft like a Kalinsky. Even though it says Kalinsky Sable, it's really, really rough. I do not like it. Um, let's see. I got this brush, which is the number 10. I put a little diamond on the end of this one. I haven't used this yet either. But this one's a little fat and the brush, the bristles on this kind of look a little frayed. Kind of a... I can get it to focus here. I don't know if you could see that, but they already look a little rough. I don't want to take it off because I don't want to ruin the bristles anymore, but yeah, I'm afraid to use this one actually. <laughs> I got this from Envy, um, Envy, Envy Nail Supply, I think it's called, which I'll never order from them again. Their acrylics suck. Just a heads up, I would not order their stuff, and they're very milky looking. Especially the colors. The black and red aren't too bad, but the red is really, really gummy and just kind of sticks to your brush. The um, other colors I've ordered, they look white. They have like a milky look to them. They're not very pretty. So yeah, I have yet to try this out and I did order this from NB Nail Supply. And the, brush, the bristles already look jacked up. So yeah, and um, these I use for my nail art. I also got these at Michael's and they work amazing. Yeah, I have some paint on that one. But here's a brand new one. And I think these come in like a pack of four or five. And they work really good for um, nail art, doing nail art anyways. But yeah, I got these from Michael's as well. This I got from Sally's. And I think I paid like, gosh, maybe almost 20 bucks, I think, for this one tiny brush. And you could see it sucks. It definitely sucks. I would never buy this brush again. These came in like a pack of <clears throat> three or four. And I, brought these, I bought these from Sally's. And as you can see, the one top is missing off this one. The brushes fray. They are not good. And, um, yeah, I would just never purchase these again because the top was, like, super loose and came off, and, yeah, that's a waste of money. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I clean my brush when I'm done doing a set of nails. What I do is I stick it in... Oh, it's going to give me issues. Okay. What I do is I stick it in my monomer, and I wipe it on my napkin... And what I do if I have some product stuck, I use a dotting tool. I use the smaller end. And I kind of just do this with the brush and go like this really lightly to get any product I may have on there. And you can see it's kind of fanned out. And what I do to get it back to its shape is I dip it back in the monomer. And then I try to get all the product off the brush. And then, you know, I just kind of shape it back to the way it was. And then dip it back in the monomer spots that you try to get the monomer out of from the brush. And then yeah, it's back to its normal shape again. And then you just either wrap your brush if you don't have a cap with saran wrap or cap it back and it stays good forever. I'm telling you ladies, if you do not wrap your brushes with saran wrap or cap them, they will go bad quickly. And I find that um, keeping the brushes nice and moist, they will last forever. 
So yeah, that is just what I wanted to show you guys. My few brushes I have used in the past and some of the new brushes I use, I like to use. And um, yeah, this one I got from Nail Supply Glamour, just if you guys are wondering. And I think it was only like 12 bucks. Super good deal for a brush that lasts forever. So yeah, um, that's my video for today. And I hope you guys enjoy watching.